Today, I'm bringing you guys along with a realistic day in my life as a small business owner and really showing you what my workflow looks like as a clothing brand that's run by one person, me. But first, let's make a coffee. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new to the channel, I'm Jay. Today, well tonight, it's 10 p.m. when I'm filming this. That's been my schedule recently. I've just been on like a night owl situation, but I'm bringing you along with a day in a life of a small business owner. So this can be super small business oriented. I own a brand called Blaze Brand, a clothing brand. We do everything except for the cut and sewing in-house. So all the design work, whether it be printing or embroidery, DTG, whatever it is, a lot of it is done right here in the shop. So we've got a lot to do and I'm the one that does like all of it. So I do have a processing time of 14 days. So I don't have to be in here every single day, every single second of every day between making content on several different channels and like editing that as well as running the actual shop. It's just a good amount of stuff going on. So we have a lot of orders to do. We just had this drop, I'm actually in it the Baked and Unbothered Butterfly Edition. We got an entire big old box delivered and how my shop runs is it's mostly made to order. So I do have some stock and I do have stored shelves in here. But for the most part, when you guys order it, I also place an order for what you're ordering and get the inventory in if I don't already have it. So there's no waste or extra stock really left over. And last but not least, one of my 2024 goals is to put more tags on things. All of my Bakes and Unbothered, these hoodies, have the little Blaze brand, like our logo, safety pin down there. But most of our stuff doesn't really have a tag of any sort. And I'm like, I need to get better at putting something recognizable where people can be like, what is that brand I keep seeing? Or like, oh my gosh, where's that from? And people can kind of show them the tag or like, Something like that, you know? Just developing the brand identity. I picked up this 100% cotton and some 100% organic hemp because I thought that'd be a really cool material, especially considering my brand, to do for tags. It's a little bit more rough. Don't look at my nails. I literally took them off today, so they look a little insane. But it kind of looks like canvas. It literally is like canvas material. Like, doesn't this look sick? Right now I'm picking the orders and gonna like put the little order number with them because I do obviously do the first orders I get first. All right, I'm getting distracted because I ate gummies. This may be wishful thinking, but this is the pile I just picked of orders. I'm gonna try and get through tonight. Look how good the color palette is though. We're about to pre-treat a bunch of shirts and I'm gonna get some hoodies going in the embroidery machine. I also need to make some rhinestone little transfers and make all of these myself too so that I don't have to like order them and run out and try to guess how many of each design I'm gonna need. So I need to make some of those as well, but I need to get stuff pre-treated first. So that's where we're gonna start. Out of everything, these are the only ones I need pre-treated. I always double check to make sure that this is separated because once you've embroidered shut a few too many sweatshirts, you never want it to happen again. <laughs> I know you can hear the embroidery machine, but I just pre-treated all of the t-shirts. They're ready to go, so I'm loading them up one by one, and we're gonna print them. I 
That's so frustrating. Trying not to like shadow it too much, but the detail is so insane. I'm gonna let this sit for a second and then dry it in the heat press, but I've got a bunch of these to do. Number three of the purple teas. I can't get over how crisp the butterflies are, wow. All of my equipment, my printer, my embroidery machine, and the heat press are all in separate corners of the room. So I'm always back and forth just working on each thing. And then I pre-treat in a different room completely. When you first walk into the studio, I've got a storage shelf right by the door. And then on that wall, there is a big packing table where I do all my packing. And I also have a mighty hoop for hooping all the things I'm embroidering. Behind the table, so in the far back right corner, we've got the embroidery machine. In the far back left corner, we've got the printer. And then in the front of the room, on the left we've got the heat press up in that corner so there's a lot going on in here i think that the layout couldn't really get any better it's super ideal but i am constantly walking a little circle in here this is the most perfect example that could have happened tonight for me to kind of segue into one of the shop updates. I haven't decided exactly what I want to call it. Maybe you guys can chime in in the comments and let me know what name you like best. But occasionally when you own a shop like this, shit just goes wrong. Like my printer, the nozzle was clogged the yellow so the green came out blue instead of green but it didn't let me know that until after it had already printed and I didn't run a nozzle check. So instead we now have a blue huge heart on this and I can possibly use like the white fabric for something else. But with that being said, I wanna start every single Wednesday dropping pieces that have been either regenerated, reworked, refreshed. I don't know what word I really wanna use for the collection, but they'll all be one of one, one of a kind, whether it be something like this happened, which I wouldn't sell something like this, but my embroidery machine sometimes gets a little ahead of itself and like eats a piece where it leaves a tiny little hole in fabrics. I have so many things that just have tiny little flaws, which like this is not a tiny flaw. This is much more than that. But I do have so many pieces that were either samples and there's literally nothing wrong with them. They just never, came to fruition and then i also have pieces that you know have the tiniest little imperfection and i wouldn't sell them at full price but for a heavy discount i feel like they deserve a good home so i'm really excited to start that i've got an entire pile of clothes i need to go through for this wednesday's drop they're going to be at 4 20 p.m eastern time i think there's a few of the 4 20 limited edition hoodies in there that got kind of messed up that i'll have to rework a little but we might have to drop those because i feel like That'd be sick. Stay posted and let me know which name you like best because this Wednesday, there's gonna be a drop. I can't wait to see how this goes. It obviously is like good for my no waste journey. It's a billion degrees in here, I'm pretty sure at this point. Snack break. I just made, oh my gosh. I just made a little turkey sandwich, some pickles. These are the best, these little paquants. And a little air fried jalapeno kettle brand chips. I feel like having something like this that I can like easily make is so necessary when I'm busy as fuck because I just forget to eat sometimes. I'm gonna go finish this and I'll see you guys back in the shop. Each embroidery backing has to be cut off by hand. These ones are really simple, but some designs get really intricate. And in order to not have like a ton of backing, you have to like seriously take a couple minutes. I really like to use these little scissors for it. I don't use a super heavy weight. So when you wash this, it's super, super soft and not uncomfortable, but it does hold up 
like indefinitely. None of my embroidery of my own has started to unravel at all or like show any sign of wear. So we're in the clear because I definitely wear mine more than anybody else could ever wear theirs. I like to save my scraps, especially when I have like this much. You can use this for a lot. I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit more and round off the corners so it's not pointy whatsoever. And I gotta change the size of this, but I already have my first hoodie hooped for the little safety pin. Our rhinestone designs have easily and very quickly become one of our best sellers. I feel like the camera never does a good job at really portraying how sparkly these are. They're crazy. I always compare these to the Juicy Couture rhinestones and I feel like these feel so much nicer, like higher quality on clothes than theirs. The Juicy Couture ones don't even feel like real rhinestones. I don't know. It looks like this battery's on 1% right now, but I wanted to show you guys really quick. The totes we're going to be dropping, these are just cute little tote bags. This one, obviously, it says it's tan o'clock. It's so cute, perfect to just put a little beach towel, some sunscreen, tanning lotion, you know, all the essentials. They're just cute and easy, cheap little totes. And we also are going to be dropping this one with the coquette collection i love the graphic on this so cute we also just got the rolling trays in let me just show you them drum roll you guys are not even ready this is so insane to me here's the tray they're gorgeous they're also huge which is like my personal preference i am so excited for these they go obviously so perfect with the drop i think i'm gonna do like a whole kit where you can get this the tray the tote bag and like your choice of one of the shirt items from the drop. I've got so much more to do in here and it's, I don't even wanna know what time it is. It's 5.42 in the morning. I press these again to give them a really nice, soft hand feel. Ooh, it's so early, we're getting marketing emails. Run fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me Never going back, never going back nah. They never take me I've been enough of petty news I've been enough of shitty news This set is so stretchy and comfortable In the little boy shorts I had a thing for dirty shoes Since I was 10, love dirty men are like Ooh, better day than yesterday Ooh, I just take your day Still love, still love, and still love, and still love, 
this hoodie is actually going to Australia, which feels super special. these poly mailers and they're also compostable but they don't make a big size which is so sad you have to see this order they also got the bling baked and unbothered butterfly crew neck I just take your day A little over 10 hours in and this is what I have to show. It's now 9 in the morning. Well, thanks for working the night shift with me. Kyle's taking all the packages for us. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love.